Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice algebra problem and here we have m cube plus m square equals to 252 and we solve this problem for the values of m. So here uh, the very first step we are going to do is here first uh, we focus in the right hand side and in the right hand side we have uh, m cube plus m square equals to 252. So here we break our 252 and we write it as 216 plus 36 so we know that 216 plus 36 is equals to 252 uh, and now uh, further in the next step uh, we move both of these terms in the left hand side and it is written as m cubed plus m square minus 216 minus 36 equals to 0 so here uh, we make the pair of m cubed with this 216 and it is written as m cubed minus 216 we write it as 6 cubed we know that 6 cubed is 216 and we make the pair of m square with minus 36 so we write it as m square minus 36 equals to 0. So now in the next step here we need uh, two nice formulas so the first uh, formula is uh, the cubic and you know that if we have a cubed minus b cubed it is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square so here we need this nice formula to, uh, in order to solve the bob equation so that first we apply the cubic formula and after that here we need another square identity and you know that if you have a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b here we use the cubic formula on this term and the square identity on this term so uh, now uh, after this step here first we use the uh, cubic formula and over this term is written as in this form m minus 6 times of uh, m square plus uh, m into 6 plus uh, 6 square and plus here we use uh, this square identity on this term uh, so because here we write this 36 as 6 square so we apply this formula and it is written as uh, m minus 6 times of m plus 6 and this whole equation equals to 0 okay so after that uh, you see here we have m minus 6 be the common term so that we take common m minus 6 and the remaining terms are m square plus 6 m plus the 6 square equals to 36 and here we get m plus 6 and this whole equation equals to 0 so now in the next step uh, here uh, we need some simplifications and it is written as m minus 6 into m square plus 7m and this is 36 plus 6 is equals to 42 and this whole equation equals to 0. So here uh, we divide uh, this question into the two cases so that our first case is we take m minus 6 equals to 0 and the second case is we take m square plus 7m plus 42 equals to 0. So now in the first uh, from first case we easily get the value of m and this is equals to 6 and this is the our first real root of the given equation. So now if you focus on the given equation and you see here our given equation is uh, the degree of this equation is 3 it means that uh, the uh, roots of this equation are also 3 so now we find those three roots of the given equation so now here uh, we uh, make the uh, first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to 7 and c equals to 42 so these are the three roots of the given equation and now uh, further uh, we have uh, we apply the quadratic formula here so we know about the quadratic formula it is m equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the our uh, 
quadratic formula and now we substitute the values of a b and c in this formula and it is written as m equals to minus b the value of b is minus 7 plus minus uh, square root of b square so b is 7 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 42 and it is divided by 2 times of a and our a is equals to 1 so in the next step we have m is equals to minus 7 plus minus square root of 7 square equals to 49 minus 4 times of 42 is equals to 168 okay so uh, here you see that 42 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 becomes here 2 so here we need some simplifications and it is written as m equals to minus 7 plus minus this is 49 minus 168 it is equals to square root of minus 119 it is divided by 2 so after that uh, here we need to separate the square root on both of these terms and it is written as m equals to minus 7 plus minus we write square root of 119 into square root of minus 1 and it is divided by 2. So after this step uh, we uh, very well know about the square root of minus 1. We know that the square root of minus 1 is equals to iota and we have minus 7 plus minus square root of 119 into the square root of minus 1 is equals to iota and it is divided by 2 so uh, you see here uh, these are the two roots of the given equation so because uh, we need to find the three roots of the given equation uh, so uh, the three roots of the given equation which we find in this problem is that the first root is m1 equals to 6 the second root is m2 equals to here we choose the positive value our positive root it is minus 7 plus square root of 119 iota divided by 2 and the third root of the given equation is m3 equals to minus 7 minus square root of 119 iota and it is divided by 2 so uh, these are the three roots of the given equation so now uh, here our final conclusion is that uh, this is the uh, three roots in which the first root is the real and the other two roots are the complex roots of the given equation so this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos